This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. Today we're going to talk about how to find the sum of a geometric series. Well, first of all, we need to know what a geometric series is. So a geometric series is a sum of numbers, and the numbers are bound together by a multiplier. Okay, so what does that mean? Like, for instance, if I take any two consecutive numbers, so let's say I take these two numbers, and I take uh, the large number, or I should say the right number, divided by the left number. Uh, I notice I'm just going to reduce this. And by the way, I'm trying to solve for r, which is called the common ratio. So I take the right number divided by the left number of any two consecutive numbers. And let's see, I divide that eh, both even. I could divide them by 2. Let's see, divide that by 2, I get uh, 8. Eh, looks like I divide them by 2 again. And oh, what the heck, I could do it again. So it looks like, oops, if my math is right, I get 3 halves. Okay, so let's uh, divide that by 2 and get 3 halves. All right, well, I want to make sure that this is indeed a geometric series, so I'm going to do the same thing for the next two numbers. And the common ratio has to be the same. If not, it's not a common ratio and it's not a geometric series. So just to confirm it, uh, let's see, 36, that's 18 twelfths. Well, I notice I could divide them by 6. That's 3 halves. All right, well, it looks like indeed I do have a geometric series because they do have the same common ratio. All right, now to calculate the sum, there is a formula. And what I want to do for this particular series is I'm going to calculate the sum and I'm going to calculate the sum of the first 18 terms. All right, so how does this look? Well, the formula looks like this. That's an N. Uh, and it says uh, a 1, and then there's a 1 minus R to the N, and you have a 1 minus R. Well, R we know is the common ratio. A1 is just the first term. So this is A1, first term. Here's the second term, A2. Here's the third term, A3. Uh, just to get a feel for what these numbers represent. N stands for, uh, that actually stands for how many terms we are going to try to find the sum of. Okay, I'm just trying, trying to make an N that looks good. So in other words, I'm going to say that I want to find 18 terms. So I know that we're going to calculate the first sum of the 18 terms. All right, well, let's plop everything into the formula. So I'm finding, again, the sum of the first 18 terms. So my first term is 16. I'm taking 1 minus, uh, let's see, my common ratio is 3 halves, which is really 1.5, raising that to the 18th power, all over 1 minus r again. r is 1.5. Now, in honesty, the calculators today are so awesome, you actually literally punch this into the calculator exactly the way it looks using, like, for instance, a TI Inspire. If not, if you're not doing a TI Inspire, you might want to calculate the numerator, get an answer, and then divide it by negative a half, right? 1 minus 1.5 would be negative a half. So that's how you might want to do it. So calculate the numerator, divide it by negative 0.5. In either case, uh, I'm getting an answer when I punch it into the calculator. That's 47260.5401. And, and it keeps going, right? It, it keeps going. Matter of fact, there's many decimals to this. So I, if I were to round it maybe to the nearest tenth, it looks like it would be half, right? So approximately 47. 260.5 as an approximate answer. Okay, so that's how you find the sum of a geometric series. Just use the formula and plug in all the correct answers, or correct values, I should say. So make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out our interactive quizzes, other videos, and text lessons. Take care.